week on Fishing and Adventure. We're on 90 Mile Beach for a land based and surf casting mission, catching kawai and bird snapper. Oh. Get him in, Scotty. This is a good one. This is a good one. Nine. This is a goodie. When you're fishing in the far north, it's hard to know where to start, as the options here are plentiful. For us though, one thing that's always right up there on the priorities list is a quality coffee from our good mate Darren at Hitman Coffee in Hohora. Hohora is the gateway to our fishing destination for the day, and we're leaving the Surtees behind, as today it's strictly surf casting and none other than the legendary 90 Mile Beach. So with the morning brew taken care of, we made the 15 minute drive to the picturesque White Sand West Coast. This stretch of beach was once the main road, and still to this day, it's a public highway. Plenty of vehicles use the beach, but mostly fishers and tourists. 90 Mile Beach is in fact only 55 miles long, but it's still a very impressive piece of coastline, which stretches from Ahipara all the way north to Scotts Point, which is only three kilometres south of Cape Maria Van Diemen. This week's challenge fish is a 10 pound snapper that must be caught from the beach. Snapper are fairly common around here, but one thing that's absolutely certain, Surf casting can be a very challenging game, so we'll have our work cut out for us if we are to avoid the consequence. All right, 90 mile beach, here we are, Mick, this is a bit of you. Yeah, this is a bit of me, I do love a bit of land based fishing, that's for sure. Yep, so it's surf casting action today and uh, not a bad little spot we've found here on the beach. Hopefully a little bit of a gut through there, so we'll get some rods ready, set some gear up and flick some baits out. Sounds good. Pretty sick looking land based gear, man, Okuma do, Mick. Oh yes. Probably what they sell more of. Yeah, well, I think obviously it is a big part of the population of New Zealand that goes fishing, goes surf casting, so it stands to reason that there is some good gear out there for it. And I must admit, I've done a lot of land based fishing, but not a lot of surf casting. So looking forward to this. Yeah, it's probably where it all starts for a lot of us. Yep, definitely. Just got to get wet balls. <laughs> <laughs> When surf casting, it's essential to have the right gear if you want to make the most of the opportunities available. Long, dedicated surf rods are a must, along with a quality spin reel, preferably with a long cast spool. There are a few rig options that work well, including some of the out of the packet ones, which have all the hardware and are ready to fish straight away. Being the west coast, there is almost always surf, and at times it will be unfishable. Fortunately for us, the swell is only a metre, so getting our lines beyond the breakers shouldn't be too difficult. Sweet, so these are the rigs from Black Magic. They're just the, the long reach surf casting rigs, dedicated to get you a nice long cast. So it might look quite elaborate, but it's fairly simple. Just read the packet, it's pretty easy. But it, um, the hook comes down and clips in this neat little clip here. So what that does, once the weight comes on, holds it as a nice streamlined system with all the weight at one end. And that just allows you to cast nice and far out over those breakers. And this is definitely a, a case of distance matters. Because you can get into those guts and those, um, those areas where those, the fish are coming in and swimming around, so look her out. Patience and perseverance is definitely required for this type of fishing, but it is very rewarding and obviously extremely accessible. Might have a little kawai on here. It's generally the um, it's generally the first sort of fish again. Oh, that's all right. That's a that's a result. That's the best cast. Just getting into me wetsuit to get a little bit further. That's a nice little kawai. He's an eater. I'll probably pop him in the bin. He'll either make for some good tucker or some good bait. All good. Got a 100% bite there, which is pretty exciting. Come on, swallow it. It was a relatively big bait. 
trying to employ the same theory I apply, employ when I'm fishing for snapper off the boat, which is put a big bait down to catch a big snapper. Got his on! Putting the bend in the nano matrix, which is a familiar thing for me. Not one this long, though. Oh, it's a good, good fish, Vic. Bit of a tiger, bit of a mig. Carl. Alrighty. Oh, he's my first 90-mile beach fish. Good-sized car wide. Here we go. On the board. That's the uh, an expected species. Not the optimal target species, but we'll take it, because any fish off the beach is a good one. I'm going to put them in the bin, because that's going to make some good tucker. All right. Fish Not bad, eh, Keep these kawai in good nick. You've got to bleed them just in behind the gill plate here. Pull that back. And just a little slice in here goes straight into his heart. You can see there. That blood's starting to pump out. So I'll go and give him a little bit of a wash in the surf. And then he'll be dispatched. And then nicely bled for eating later on. Sweet. Sometimes you need to wade through the kawai and just wait for the snapper to come on the chew. It's just a case of hanging in there. It seems to be what's happening at the moment. Oh, yeah, boys. Good fish. That's a goodie off the beach. <laughs> We're on a strictly surf casting adventure at 90 Mile Beach, and the challenge is set to land a 10 pound snapper. After a quick morning coffee, we cruised the beach looking for a likely snapper spot and rigged up the surf combos. We immediately got onto a couple of nice kahawai at spot number one, but with no snapper showing up, we pushed up the beach a bit to a new zone, which is hopefully holding a few of our challenge species. With so much coast, it's hard to know where to start fishing. Look for slightly calmer patches where the waves might not be breaking along the surf line, as this will be the deeper water. These guts and channels both run out and along the surf, and fish will usually congregate here to feed on the shellfish and exposed crustaceans. These areas are like little highways for fish, so by getting your baits into these zones, it'll up your chances of hooking them. Here we're on. Seems to be every cast at the moment we're catching a fish, so... Probably these car wires though, unfortunately. But never mind. Barely even got that one to hit the bottom. Kawai City. Yeah. That's so what that gannet was looking at. Oh, still good fun though. Loving it. Is it a goodie, isn't it? Surfing him in. Yeah, there he is, a good sizey. Here, yeah, look. I'll go and get my cow. Welcome back in the drink. With spot two also only providing kahawai, we moved further up the beach to see if we could find the seemingly elusive snapper. I just lost a stonker who's bigger than that one. He's busted yeah. me off. Oh, just like right on the beach here. Yeah. Trying to get him in. Nice fish, Mick. Oh, well, pretty safe with that. Some nice fillets on that guy. Absolutely. Just took that little belly flap of the uh, bonito. The belly flap of the bonito is quite a good little bait. Lots of little bones in there, holds together pretty well. But yeah, definitely can't complain with dragging that up on the beach. He'll make some good eating. Yes. Alrighty, so uh, 
I think we've probably done our dash at this spot. Tide's pushing us up a bit, so we'll move along and try to find another one. Right up the end of the beach here. A few kahawai here so far, but no snapper. But yeah, we'll see how we go. If we can't get any snaps here in the next sort of 20, 30 minutes, then we'll make our way back down the beach, see if we can't find some uh, more likely looking snapper zones, maybe a little bit more shellfish and the likes, because here seems to be just a headland with a sandy bay. So not ideal for the, for the snaps, because there's not a lot of food here for them. But there's food here for us. Got a brew on the go. Ben's dusting up the kahawai there. Got some wraps, so she'll be fresh kawai wraps. Yum. So once again, no snapper is spot number four. Although we still had a challenge to complete, we couldn't resist cruising up one of the streams for a bit of an explore. Having a four-wheel drive allows you to access these sorts of areas, but do be mindful of soft sand here and on the beach because plenty of vehicles have become stuck and stranded on the low tide and then overwhelmed by the incoming. The sea waits for no one. So with the tiki tour out of the way, it was back to the surf. Midway along the beach is a rocky outcrop known as the Bluff, which looked like the perfect spot to try and wrangle out our challenge snapper. Oh, I'm getting bites. Yep, 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 that's a bite, that's a bite, yep, oh yes. Yes, boys, I'm on here. Oh ho ho! Hooked up! Oh, oh yeah, boys. Good fish, good fish. <coughs> yeah, mate, I'm on. Stone cut. Oh, it's a good fish. <coughs> oh, this is a goodie. <coughs> Far out. <coughs> it's bigger than my kahawai, so I'm thinking it's a hopefully a good size snap. Good yeah. yeah. Snapper, I think. I just don't know where those rocks are. What kind of cast is out there? So, oh yeah, good solid fish, this thing. Woohoo! Loving it. Great. Oh, well, the change of spots worked. It's, um, yeah, just push down the beach a little bit. Yeah, first couple of casts. Ben just lost the car line. It's got to go into a nice Can't be far away. How far did I cast? I can't have cast it that far. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming in now. Still there? Doesn't feel heavy anymore. Oh, he's still there. What have we got? Pretty exciting. Oh, here he comes, snapper. Yee-hoo! Good snap. Nice. Oh, well, it's not a massive one, but it's a good fish, man. It does actually, Mick. That's what we're here for. <laughs> it's a good fish. Yeah. Far out. Yeah, that's, a <laughs> that's a goodie off the beach. <laughs> get him, Mick, get it. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wicked. Please. That's what we're here that's for. Hang on. Close hooks in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, let's get him up and have a good look. <laughs> Stoked. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, here's the old mates. All oh, right, look at that guy. Now that, is that the challenge fish, Mick? Well, it's got to be close. You've got to chuck him on the scales. I think we do. Far out, what a fish. Man. That long reach rig there, yeah, both hooks. He guzzled that bit of bonito. Yeah. Awesome fish. Just goes to show what you can do. You know, you don't, don't, don't need to be experienced land-based fish shows. Just have to do the basics right and yep. cast a, put in a bit of effort and away you go. Look at that. Fatty. That's a fatty, man. Yeah. He's, a bit, he's a bit dirty, but we're going to give him a wash and have a good look at him, eh? I might let him go. I know oh, we're here for a feed. So we just gave this, this guy away and he's 10.4, so that is a tick for one of the challenge fish. Off the beach, Mick. Sweet. Oh, in the bin, because that's what we're here for. Here for a feed, so. Epic. <laughs> Mint. Well, 
one thing that's a big part of our operation, you probably see us wearing it all the time, is our merch. But it's not just for us, it's for you guys at home as well. We've teamed up with Illicit to bring you these epic designs and they're printed right here in New Zealand and we've got a fantastic range. That's right, so we've got everything from these kid sizes here right down to our baby's onesies. And something for the big kids at home as well. T-shirts, hoodies, plenty of designs. So if you want to school yourself some of the sweet merch, head over to fishingandadventure.co.nz, get into it. Legs are up to a good one here, I think. <laughs> it's Strictly Surf Casting in Northland and we're fishing in the iconic 90 mile beach. The challenge is set for each of us to land a 10 pound snapper off the beach and so far we've been getting some good sized kawai and I managed to nail my challenge fish with a solid 10.4 pound snapper. We've moved up the coast several times trying to find MIG hit snapper but so far to no avail. We are well aware of the fact that surf casting can be a challenging style of fishing but are ever hopeful of hooking and landing MIG's challenge snap. So this here is your breakaway sinker. Just a quick little tip. Over the day the, the wires tend to wear out a little bit and they break a lot easier. So just a little squeeze like that. Bends them in. It means they clip over nice and hard. And then that way when they're in the sand you've got a, you've got a decent amount of pressure. Because yeah, like I was saying, over the day they just wear out and break away really easily, but when you give them that little bend, it does hold them in there nice and good, so... All good, let's flick it out. Legs hooked up to a good one here, I think. Just letting the drag off a bit, I think, because he's... Uh, giving it a chance. Pulling a bit of line, Mick. Here he is, here he is. Oh, it's Alito. It's a good size leech. It's a monster Lido. Oh yeah, it's a big fish. It's a monster. Pulls the line. Big car. Damn it! I thought there was a snap the whole time, but oh well. Here's the car that fights like a snapper. But that is a monster. We'll get some good fillets off him. Both hooks in the corner of the mouth. Yeah. Although the gannets were feeding directly where we were casting, we still weren't able to find Mig Snapper, so once again it was back to the ute for another spot change. We're running out of daylight, but uh, we still got a... Uh, well, I don't know, half an hour. Yeah, we're going to push back down the beach where we saw a whole lot of shellfish earlier. Yep. And hopefully this sort of evening session, they might come on the chew down there. So we're working our way up and down and hopefully we can get onto them. Last ditch effort. <laughs> yeah, big. <laughs> oh, yeah, commitment. He's got another one. <laughs> well, we're still persevering. It's getting pretty dark now. It ain't over till it's over, though, for Mick. I'm all good, I'm sitting here pretty content, knowing that uh, I can't lose the challenge. But it'd be nice for Mick to be able to get his 10 pounder as well. To be fair, it'd be nice for Mick to get a snapper full stop, because I've been pretty challenging today, but that's all right. That's the way it goes sometimes, it's still caught fish. Well, Miggy, it's pretty much the end of our day, because she's completely pitch black, the tide's out. What a day, mate. Yeah, what a day. It's an awesome place. Honestly, the fish on this beach is a pretty iconic beach. And yeah. Yeah, somewhat lived up to its name. It did. We didn't quite get the snapper we were after. We all got the one, but um, yeah, plenty of kawai. Just awesome scenery and yeah, real awesome spot. But unfortunately yeah. for you, my friend, you yeah. didn't quite get that challenge fish. Yeah, it's, quite, it's <laughs> consequence time for me. It is. Let's go. Connie time, Miggy.
Meg! Consequence time! Oh. Come on down, friend. Yeah. Oh, well. Come on, Meg. Not ideal. You don't even know what it is, it might be good. Oh, it's never good. <laughs> it's Stop. never good. Stop. Head off. No, oh, what? Yeah, it's just, you know, you can't see the surprise. This way, friend. Come <laughs> on, it's all right. It's, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Yes, oh, keep on going. Then. What is it? Nothing, nothing. It's just a, just a nice, friendly walk into the old room. <laughs> <laughs>